Hello, this is Lisa Knight, your Physics 110 instructor. This video will introduce you to the structure of the modules, the due dates, and the assignments in the modules. So when you click on the modules link, you'll see that each module is in a folder. And so you can see that all the eight modules and even the exam have their own folder. Each module has a brief introduction and a list of what you're going to talk, of what you're going to do and what the due date is for those objects or activities. Let's use module two as an example because it's very much like most of the modules. So when you open up the module, you're going to see that everything you need is inside this folder. The very first thing we have is a module introduction. It tells you a little bit about what you're going to study, and then it tells you how to prepare for the assignments and how to and what assignments to do. So preparing for the assignments requires you to read the chapters and look over the lecture notes, watch the Hewitt Druitt videos that correspond to the chapter, and to complete the Lab 2 lesson. The assignments that are actually graded are going to be um, the initial faults blog 2, the homework 2 in Mastering Physics, the, lesson, uh, the lab lesson 2 quiz in Blackboard, the lab 2 activity in Blackboard, and the module 2 test in Blackboard, and the final faults blog in Blackboard. So in essence, every, every module has six assignments, except for Module 1 and Module 8. So let's just kind of go over this, and I will talk about these individual, I will talk about the lab lessons and the lab activities um, in other videos, but let's just go over the structure of this module so you'll kind of know where to find things. So the very first thing you have is a discussion. And that is usually due on the due date for the previous module. So even though module two, in general, all the assignments that you're going to do are due on one particular day, the initial thoughts blog is meant is a question to get you thinking about things that you're going to study. I don't expect you to have looked at chapter two on three. I don't expect you to even really know anything about it. But this is for you to kind of give an idea of what you think these concepts are. And then at the end of the module, you'll have a final thoughts blog to do, and that blog will build on or relate to the initial thoughts. And so this is a way for you to kind of realize what you didn't understand and then figure out what you understand now. And it's actually been proven that if you can um, relate uh, information to ideas that you misunderstood in the past. It, it helps you develop a better internal understanding of things. So these these blogs are pretty are pretty uh, important in your own uh, process of learning. You also will have a homework assignment in Mastering Physics. To get to it, you click on the Mastering Physics link. You will have a lesson. This was mentioned in the preparing what to prepare for. Um, section and and this is going to allow you to um, do the background information and answer practice answering all the questions for the lab two lesson quiz which prepares you for a um, an actual activity that you'll do the lab two activity so you have two lab assignments one is a lesson quiz and one is an activity and then finally um, you'll have your um, Module 2 test, which is also in Mastering Physics. So this Mastering Physics link is used for your homework and for your test. Please email if you have any questions.